right. So we've been learning some cool things about networks, and uh, what we've learned is that we can connect two or more devices together, and we can do that either with a wired connection or a wireless connection. And, uh, and then once we've started to connect them, we have to figure out, okay, in what kind of topology do we want to arrange these devices? How do we want to physically arrange them and physically arrange the connections? Will it be the ring topology? Will it be the bus topology? where it's just a straight line and everything's connected with a straight line, or will it be the star topology, which is the most common one? So uh, what topology do we use? And then we're have to going to decide what role do the different devices on the network have? Will, will one be will one always serve as a client and others will always serve as servers? Or will there be like a peer-to-peer -peer sort of uh, model that we use? And that was sometimes known as architecture. People refer to that as architecture. So we look at wired versus wireless connection, we look at the topology, we look at the model slash architecture for how, uh, you know, we, what roles the different devices, client, server, peer-to-peer, -peer, right here, yeah. And uh, then we also look at rules, communication, protocols, and uh, we looked at how modems work and how, you know, if we have a lot of data to transfer over a, a connection that's considered broadband, and that's the bandwidth, uh, measure of bandwidth, and if we have a, a, a connection where not a lot of data can travel over the connection, that's considered narrow band, like an old dial-up modem would definitely be considered a narrow band connection. And, uh, and so those are the things we've learned so far. The next thing we're going to learn is how does the data travel over uh, the connection medium? How does the data, data travel? And then also, um, you know, yeah, that's basically it. How does the data travel over the connection medium? And so there's two ways we could do it, right? We could have a serial connection or a parallel connection. And uh, a serial connection just means all the zeros and ones, right? Here we have a byte of data with, you know, the different one, bit, different bits of data, right? There's eight of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how do we send those? They just go, one goes, two goes behind that, three goes behind that, da, 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 one after another, single file line, serial communication. A parallel communication, we might have like eight wires here in parallel, like a multi-lane freeway, and all the zeros and ones get sent at once. Now you might think, well, that looks like that's going to be way faster because you've got eight lines sending data as opposed to one, but that's not always the case. So uh, there's a lot of serial connection, like universal serial bus, right? That's why it's called a universal serial bus, USB. There's a lot of uh, serial connections that are smoking fast, uh, USB being the main one <laughs> that I think about. All right, so that's one way that we could send data over a connection medium, right? It could either be serial or it could be parallel. And then when we're sending data between two devices, uh, there's three types of ways data could communicate, the ways those devices can communicate. And... Uh, you know, we could have simplex communication, which means data can only go one direction. It can only go from the sender to the receiver, and that never changes. So right here is an example, actually, of simplex communication, because I am communicating with you, and there's no way for you to video communicate right back with me right now, right, right, right in this moment. Uh, we'd have to establish a new connection. You'd have to make your own video and upload to YouTube and say, here, in which case you would then be communicating with me in a simplex fashion, right? So that's simplex. It goes one direction. Uh, uh, half duplex is like a walkie-talkie. It can go both directions, just not at the same time. So the walkie-talkie, you know, yeah, what do you think of that? Over. I think that's really boring. <laughs> Over. Yeah, well, it's definitions. What do you expect? Over. That's half duplex. And then finally, we have full duplex, which is like a phone conversation or a video conference where it's da -da -da -da, just back and forth, right? Anybody can talk at any time. Communications can go both directions at the same time, so that'd be full duplex. So these are just some of the definitions and terms that you start to learn about when you start looking into networking and learning about networking. And uh, this, you know, really speaks to how is the data flowing over the medium, whatever medium we're using. Is it flowing in a single line, serial communication? Is it flowing all the zeros and ones are side by side, like multi-lane freeway, parallel communication? And then also, you know, uh, can we go both directions at the same time? Full duplex? Can only, you know, we could go both directions, just not at the same time, like a walkie-talkie, half duplex? Or can only go one direction, simplex? 
So those are some of the terms about networking when we start looking at different ways data can be transmitted from one device to another.